A great leader doesn't go solo. One of my favorite examples of going solo, Han Solo, um, he has Chewbacca on his side. And it, it, there's, there's no one that does, the, the people that are alone, they don't do the best. He, it's, always, it's always working together to get this, to reach this goal. Hello, I'm Henry. I'm from San Diego, California. I'm 12 years old and I'm the ninth child in a family of 10. I was doing a science, fifth grade science fair project. And I was trying to do something that would be um, kind of unique and um, interesting. And I was thinking of things like, um, well maybe creating a machine or things like that. And then my mom um, suggested doing something with swabbing and um, growing bacteria. And at first, I, at first I was like, mm, I, well, it's just her idea. I, I want to use my idea. I want my idea. And if I do win, I want it to be my idea that created that. But again, looking back on that, I realized that your idea doesn't, mean, doesn't have to be the best one. It doesn't have to be the winning idea. Because in, it, you can know that you built off that. You, you learned off that and you created uh, maybe a better idea or you conformed yourself around it. And I ended up using that, that project. I've t tweaked it, of course, but it made me realize that it was an awesome idea. And I probably wasn't gonna get an idea better than that. And, and I realized that in order to, to get to reach your goal, sometimes you have to collaborate and you have to work and you can't just go solo.